What are these baby chickens up to? Eating and drinking. That's the rooster. And you know what? This one might very well be a hen. The comb is not getting any bigger. The waddles aren't getting any bigger. Um, it's not as red as this one over here. I know you can't see it because the glare from the light. But the only thing is, is the females from the black copper, I think these are black, they're not supposed to have any red on their body, and this one has a, a few speckles of red, so I don't know. But they're beautiful. Whatever they are, I'll either take care of them or find them a good home. Hey, hey, sweet chickens. Yeah, they're pretty special. I need to get in there and clean that coop out again. <laughs> hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. And today is another miserable, rainy day. It is stopped shortly. God gave me just enough time to go out and feed the chickens. I'm keeping them all in their coops today. None of them are leaving their coops. I'm not even going to deal with it. Um, it is supposed to rain all day and into the night. But we got a nice little break right now. So today is definitely an indoor day. I've got a nice fire going. In fact, it's kind of a little bit too warm in here. You can tell my rosy cheeks. The two baby chickens, they're still down in there in their little breeder box. I have got to get them out of that box because they are starting to get a little antsy. They're starting to peck at each other, and that's a sign of stress. I was going to do it today, but since I'm keeping the chickens in the coop today, um... They need all that space back there. Um, I'm going to put them back in the back and close that section off like I did before. But today's not going to be a good day just because all of the chickens are in the coop and it's just crazy crowded. Well, it's not that crowded. It's not too bad. They've got plenty of room. But everybody else is in their coops. I didn't even let the roosters out in their run. So I'm not going to deal with that stress today. They're all in their coops. They've been fed. They've been watered. So that's good. Um... So all I'm going to try and do today is stay warm and stay dry. You know what? I don't mind being cold. I don't mind being damp. But I cannot stand to be cold and damp at the same time. It is just a different kind of cold. I don't like it. So I've got a nice fire going. Um, I'm cooking the leftovers of that beautiful pot of beef uh, soup that I made yesterday. And I had some for breakfast. And I'm going to have some again for lunch. So, um, I don't really have a whole lot going on for you today, but I did want to share with you a story. And so I get a call from my old neighbor, Denise. She's awesome. She's the one that gave me that crock pot. And she also gave me that big, huge water tote out there. Remember that? Yeah, she gave that to me. And, um, she's just been a really good friend. She calls me every once in a while, checks up on me. Um, she's a way better friend to me than I am to her. I mean, she just calls to check up on me, and it's that's pretty awesome. So she was worried um, because of all the rain and some things have been happening, you know, people getting, you know, washed off the road, basically, and um, just uh, trees falling on houses. Uh, that's what this weather has caused. Luckily... I just had a little bit of water in my front, but um, other people didn't get by so well. Anyhow, um, she told me a story, and I'm going to share it with you. I got her permission because it almost made me want to cry when she told me. She was at Tractor Supply Company with her new little baby girl, her beautiful, beautiful baby girl, and they had been doing some shopping. And so she starts going outside, and she's got the baby in the baby carriage. And remember yesterday how I told you how it came in waves. All of a sudden, there would be no rain. And then all of a sudden, psh, it was like a power shower. So she was leaving Tractor Supply Company with the baby in the baby carriage. And all of a sudden, psh, <laughs> it started coming down hard. And so she's running to her vehicle. And this guy, she says, I don't know if he was a cowboy or not, but... He was wearing a cowboy hat, and he was. Uh, she said he was wearing a pair of coveralls that was like had a split down them all, all, all the way down one leg. And he just jumped into action. He grabbed his umbrella. He ran over to the baby carriage and covered the baby with the umbrella 
and walk them all the way to the car. And Denise is like, oh, it's okay. You don't have to stay, you know, because you got to get, you got to open the, the car door. You got to get the seat ready. You got to put the baby in. And she says, it's okay. And he says, no, I'll just, I'm going to stand here and, um, you know, just cut, make sure you guys get in your, your vehicle. And that's what he did. She said that he was completely soaked by the time she was finished getting you know, her baby and her stuff into the car. Um, but that is just heartwarming. You know, cowboys do still live and chivalry is not dead. It's still alive and well. You know, there are so many people who would just not even think to do something like that. But this dude, cowboy dude, dude in the cowboy hat, he sprung into action. It was like natural. It was like nature to him. That is just something that was an innate in his brain. That was the first thing he thought of. He didn't even have to think of it. It was just instinct. He just acted on his instincts. He grabbed his umbrella and went and shielded this little baby so she wouldn't get drenched in the rain. And instead, he allowed himself to get drenched in the rain. Now, I don't know how many people out there are like that, but I want to be like that. I think we need more people in the world like that. So God bless cowboys. And God bless you men who just have this thing inside where you just want to protect people, women and children. You know, there's this crowd that talks about toxic masculinity and all that kind of stuff. Well, that dude, he had to be masculine to be able to stand out there in that rain and getting drenched to protect a baby and a woman. And that's not toxic at all. That is just an, an innate thing that some men have. Many men have. It's not championed. Um, masculinity is not championed. Um, chivalry is not championed. Um, skinny jeans and, I don't know, just uh, colored hair. That's championed, but not the cowboys. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's there's a lot of people on the left who would love to see cowboys disappear, but I'm not one of those people. Well, of course, I'm not on the left, but whatever. So I just wanted to share that with you because it touched my heart. And I think we could all learn something from people like that. Um, people who who don't even think to help others. It's just an instinct. It's just something that's in them that automatically clicks. Yeah, so I, I hope I'm kind of like that. I think I am. Um, but I think I could do better at that. Yeah. So this is just going to be the video for today. Um, I'm just going to stay warm. I'm going to stay dry. I'm going to enjoy my dogs and my chickens and not stress out on my chickens running all over my property because they're in their coops. So I'm just going to have a nice relaxing day. <sighs> Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.